What is up, it's the Figure Hunter, and today we're gonna to do the final heart rate accuracy testing for the new Garmin Epix Pro 51 millimeter. This is the heaviest watch that Garmin makes, as well as the new Phoenix 7 Pro. So in each of these tests, we're taking it into CrossFit or high intensity interval training, which typically is the most strenuous type of workout for an optical heart rate sensor when worn on the wrist, because not only do you have a major and consistent, like or continual fluctuation of intensity for the heart rate, to drop down as well as then spike back up or stay at super high elevated levels so the highest of the heart rate tracking as well you have barbell work and rig work where you're doing pull-ups you're walking on your hands and you're moving a barbell with Olympic lifts and so it's putting a lot of flex across the wrist for each of these watches to be able to try to keep up with. So this is the new Garmin Elevate 5.0. So we're gonna look at what the sensor looks like on the 4.0, which was on the original Phoenix 7 and the original Epix watches, as well as a number of other watches at that time period. And then we're gonna look at it sort of side by side with the Elevate 5.0, but we're gonna get into the details and the nitty gritty. And what that nitty gritty entails is just a whole bunch of charts. If you've watched, I did a midpoint review. So we're gonna look at those same charts over again, as well as a multiple of other workouts doing CrossFit and wearing both of these watches. And then at the end of that, we're gonna look at how they correlate to an ECG chest strap, which is considered the, you know, the gold standard for true accurate heart rate tracking, especially with all these other variables. It's worn across the chest. Use, you know, I'm using the Garmin HRM Pro Plus. So we're gonna compare these optical heart rate sensor results to the chest strap on the charts. And then we're gonna do a correlation graph, which basically shows how much it truly keeps up more uh, mathematically keeps up or compares to a chest strap. So for every measurement of heart rate that the optical heart rate sensor picked up, how did it compare to the exact measurement of a chest strap? You'll see that on a correlation graph. We'll talk about all the data points for both watches across 10 different workouts on a one major correlation graph. And then we'll look briefly at how it compares to the Garmin Elevate 4.0, which was on the original Phoenix 7 series, the original Epix, as well as, like I said, a number of watches at that time. So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. So let's first look at the sensor differences and then dive into all the meat and potatoes. All right, so here you have three different watches. You have the Phoenix 7. This is the Elevate 4.0, which is on the back of it. I don't know if it's going to even light up. And then you have the Epix 51 millimeter, Epix Pro 51 millimeter, and the Phoenix 7 Pro. So you can see the optical heart rate sensor differences where you see, you know, what looks like a white middle. Those are the optical heart rate sensors there it turned on. And then on the new Elevate 5.0 sensor, you're getting, you know, six different spots where it could light up. So it only lights up in the middle, I think on traditional, just like when you're just wearing it throughout the day, but then there's other sensors which spread it out to give you obviously not just two little diodes, but six, and they're spread out more evenly so that you can get more contact. So those are the sensor differences between the Elevate 4.0 and the 5.0. All right, so here are the charts. We're gonna look at the ones we've seen already. If you did watch the midpoint review for the heart rate accuracy, we'll just sort of try to fly through those. So every time we're looking at these, this happens to be the Epix Pro 51 millimeter, and you can see pretty good agreement. This was actually the worst accuracy of all the testing that I did. For some reason, it just happened on the first workout. And this is the Phoenix 7 Pro. You can see one bobble in the Metcon, but overall good agreement. And now Epix Pro, 51 millimeter. So you got clean lines pretty much throughout other than some latency in the midpoint of the rest period of the Metcon. And similar thing with the Phoenix 7 Pro. Here, nearly, you know, perfect agreement other than um, the spike in the middle, which was the last set of a three rep max for back squats. For some reason with back squats, optical heart rate sensors just go on the fritz a little bit, see the same thing happen with the um, Phoenix 7 Pro. Here you have basically pretty excellent, I mean, this is just really, really good um, comparisons. Same thing here on the Phoenix 7 Pro. Here you have the Phoenix 7 Pro on a different workout, picked up pretty much everything other than one minor spike towards the back half, but other overall excellent agreement. And here you have the Epix Pro 51 millimeter, excellent agreement other than a couple of spikes on the front and end. Here you have the Phoenix 7 Pro again, 
picking up all the lifting portion as well as the Metcon with even a slight rust period. And you have the Epix Pro 51 millimeter, same thing, minor bobble in the very first set of lifting, but otherwise excellent, excellent. And here you have near perfect on most of it other than some clear uh, distinct deviation on the Phoenix 7 Pro. And here almost perfect with the Epix Pro 51 millimeter other than a couple little minor spikes and tweaks. And this is hot yoga. I show hot yoga because for some reason when your blood pressure goes up, which is what hot yoga causes, at least for me, um, optical heart rate sensors have failed for me in the past. So this is hot yoga. This is excellent. This is the Phoenix 7 Pro. And for comparison, here's what hot yoga session looked like on the Elevate 4.0, which was on all the previous models um, of the, you know, Phoenix 7 and Epix. And here is the Epix 51 millimeter, Epix Pro 51 millimeter with the same hot yoga session. Excellent there. And here was the workout from today. It picked it up like nearly overlapping. This is the Phoenix 7 Pro. So this is super high level accuracy because you can see the lines just basically one on top of each other. And this is the Epix Pro 51 millimeter also excellent accuracy. So in all these, we're gonna look at the correlation charts. So it's basically the plot of every data point, every heart rate measurement of the device versus the ECG chest strap, the uh, Garmin HRM Pro Plus. And if they line up perfectly in agreement, you're gonna have a diagonal line up the middle and a correlation number of 1.0. That would be a perfect alignment. And here's the Phoenix 7 Pro. You can see tons and tons of condensed dots across the midpoint line and a correlation comparison of 0.96. This is super high level. This is definitely better than it has been at any point before and is up at the top of the accuracy for any optical heart rate sensor. And these, each of the dots are set at like 94% transparency. So when you have a whole bunch of dots in one place, that's where you get the black lines. Same thing for the Epix Pro. Lots of concentration, just a hair more accurate when it comes to the correlation number 0.963, which is shocking because this is the biggest and the heaviest of all of Garmin's watches. And when you combine all the results for the Phoenix 7 Pro and the Epix Pro 51 millimeter, here's what you get you get a correlation value of 0.962, so this is highly close to 1.0, which would be perfection, and you get a lot, a lot, a lot of dots across the midpoint line, and that just shows, because the, you know, they're all set to super, super high level transparency. Each dot was just very, very light, so you only get that concentrated, thick, black middle when there's a million dots across the middle. So this is excellent results, and if we were to compare it to the Elevate, 4.0, which was on the Phoenix 7 and the Epix original and a lot of the watches throughout that time period. Here's what that re those results were. So the lighter watches just performed better and the heavier watches performed worse. So it you can see there's a lot more lines outside of this, the midpoint and it was getting around 0.9 to 0.94 depending on the weight of the watch. And you can see some of the graphs just as a reference point. So a lot of the Elevate 4.0 graphs did look like this with just a similar type of a bobble at different points. But then you would also have graphs that look like this where there was more of a continual bobble throughout different points in the workout itself. And obviously that hot yoga experience. So going back to the final results here. So highly concentrated across the midpoint line, very close to 1.0 and excellent results with the Elevate 5.0 for doing CrossFit or high intensity interval. And there you have it, a correlation of 0.962. Even looking at the heavier Garmin Epix Pro 51 millimeter, which is the heaviest of Garmin's lineup, it is performing equally as well with the Phoenix 7 Pro and both of them performing incredibly well at some of the most rigorous work. All of these workouts had bar barbell work, had pull-ups, had toes to bar, had walking on your hands, had snatches, had, you know, clean and jerks, had all sorts of different high level wrist flex across the optical heart rate sensor. And you can see from the graphs that Although there were some bobbles, although it wasn't a perfect 1.0, it was 0.962, you can see that it was an excellent, 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 fully reliable heart rate sensor, finally from the Garmin family. So 
Take that all into account. We're gonna have the final review for the Garmin Epix Pro 51 millimeter as well as the Phoenix 7 Pro coming up in the upcoming days. Though when looking at the Elevate 5.0 heart rate sensor, it is absolutely fixed the problems of the past and is an absolutely reliable heart rate sensor for even the most rigorous workouts. It's the Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.